Mm, plastic bags. Uh, I'll say every day. Plastic bag. Wow. I might say every day. There is nothing I make use of in my shop past leather. And they use about two packages of leather every day. Packing several things, uh, clothes, it could be clothes at times, it could just be uh, maybe items from the market. As in when you buy foodstuffs, uh, even <laughs> packing other plastic bottles too. And uh, virtually anything that needs to be packed, uh, most of the times uh, we use plastic bags for them. Well, if I'm going to somewhere like the market or a shop or something, I'll definitely have to use a plastic bag. For me, my business revolves around that. You can imagine coming to buy a pair of shoes and I just give you in your hands. What will happen? Will I ask you to put it in your handbag? No, I can't do without it. And then what if I come to the market and I want to buy tomato or whatever? What happens? Where will I put my, my, my stuff? Uh, later, they help my business in many ways because of many customers, they cannot buy your market without leather now. They may not be, it will not be portal for them to carry it to the home. So their responsibility being using leather in terms of putting the materials, that uh, putting the goods that you have sold to the customers so that it will be easy for, to carry to the car for them. Because um, I need it for everything. I need for my waist bin, I need to pack some things, I need it for everything. I'm a fashion designer. Most times if my clients want to see me, I go with my bags because when I come here, I always come with clothes. That's the reason I'm using it. Well, it depends on the quality of the plastic bag and the size. For instance, if it's uh, like the big polythene bags, uh, we recycle. We could still use it to maybe pack clothes later. We could still use it at home for maybe pack refuse before we dispose of it. But if it's the smaller ones that maybe you used to carry, like some like uh, like fish or uh, things that will still leave uh, stain or smells in it, we dispose of it immediately. So if it's perishable things, I'll definitely throw it. But if it's like about cl clothes, we usually keep it in my in a basket in my house, so we can use it for other things. Yes. I don't know, but I think a long while. Oh, this question, Oga. <laughs> the question is too big. And <laughs> leather can take um, uh, to me maybe one year. It will decompose within a year. Like a month. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Like a month. My God, I'm sure it takes long because I think those are the things that you usually see that last a very long time inside all of the refuse dump and all those things. Most times when you go to pack stuff from a refuse dump, some other things might have decomposed over time, but of course the plastic bags would just be there sticking out. So I'm sure it takes a long time. I have no idea. Uh, I guess for my little age, or well, for my little stain in this age, I've never come across that one. Plastic bag. It don't decay easily. I've never seen it. Well, uh, how long it decompose? How long? Because okay, well, at least from my own little knowledge of uh, plastic, I know it's not biodegradable, so I know it takes a long time. Maybe I say fifty years thereabouts for it to actually decompose because of the kind of material it's made out of. So, but I'm not sure about. But I know it's a very long time actually. Wow. A month? Ah, or a year? It depends. A year. That's impossible. Hi! <laughs> That's impossible. Hi. No! I cannot agree. It takes 150 years to decompose in the soil. So I may believe it since I don't have any knowledge on it. You don't say. Ah. Then we should reconsider, really. <laughs> I'm just hearing it for the first time. For a nylon bag to come after one red dance, one hundred and something years, I don't know. Maybe only the scientists can tell that, not me. Uh, that, that's a lot of pollution uh, for the ecosystem, actually, because since it doesn't decompose on its own, 
Definitely, even in uh, because okay, well, I dec- I dispose of it through the tr- uh, waste bin and all that, but a lot of people just throw it in the gutters. So you at least I know that will definitely clog up the drainages, and even for well, ah, in fact, I'm even to try to like quantify the the kind the amount of damage. Hmm. Well, I, I I can't I, I really can't quantify, but I know it's a lot. It's a lot of damage to the ecosystem. Uh, it caused erosion. I think that's which I've come across before erosion during rainy season. When you drop it, like when you keep them anyhow, like in the dustbin, and it rain can easily cause erosion. Um, well. I'm not really sure of like exact effects, but I shall know that every single thing in this world has its side effects. It has even this microphone might have its own side effects. So I'm not really sure, but I'm very sure it does. It has side effects. Ah, plastic bag? No, I don't think so. It's not possible, honestly. No. <laughs> no, I can't. I don't know how it's going to look like, but I, I don't think I can stay without that plastic bag. Because if I did not, ah, then my client, they will insult me then, I'll shoot. <laughs> they will cost my life. So I don't think I can stay without using plastic bag. That's true.